Uh, right, now, I've been struggling with my hearing for a while, but like many people and perhaps many of you watching, uh, I have been ignoring it. Well, not any longer. You don't get away with that on Loose Women. Last week, they sent me to get my hearing tested. Here's what happened. So I'm here to have a hearing test. I have been putting this off for years. But I've just spent two weeks holiday with my kids when they've taken the mickey out of me every single day. So I can't put this off any longer. Hi, my name's Faraz and I'm the audiologist that you'll be seeing today. Thank you, I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be. So tell me a bit more about your hearing difficulties. If I'm really honest and I think back, probably for around five-ish years, maybe more, I have been aware that I'm struggling. But you just, you make excuses the whole time. Uh, but as time has gone on, then I've realised I'm missing more and more and I'm now a standing joke uh, with my children, you know, who just won't repeat things anymore. They say, oh God, they get so impatient with me. Um, which, although you laugh that off, it is now beginning to, to get to me because I think I, I am really missing things and I don't want to be a standing joke. What would you say has been the most noticeable situation? Um, well, there was a situation quite recently. I was hosting a conference and there was about 200 people there and it was taking questions from the floor and I was on a stage and so there was a guy at the back who had a question so he stood up and spoke and all I heard was wah, 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 wah. And so I looked at everyone else on the stage and I expected that they would also think, you know, could you speak up please? But they all understood him perfectly. And I thought, oh dear, you know, this really is a problem. You know, I mean, I, I can't do my work if I can't hear, you know? So that, that was scary, actually. Next, Faraz took me through a series of tests. He started by looking in my ears before taking pictures of my ear canals. I then moved into a booth where he did some tests to look at the condition of my inner ears. He finished by seeing how I hear speech through background noise. A vent near the edge brought in fresh air. A vent near the edge brought in fresh air. It was then time for the verdict. Looking at the results that we've just got, um, what you see in front of you is the audiogram. That You're right, you. okay. The colour blue represents the hearing of your left ear. The colour red represents the hearing of your right ear. There's quite a difference, isn't there? There really is. You're quite right in saying that your left ear is better in hearing than your, le than your right ear. So what we see in the left ear is what would typically happen to someone as part of your hearing deteriorating over a, a period of time. In contrast to that, in your right ear, you have an element of that which is very similar to the left ear, but when we look at the functionality of your middle ear in your right ear, I can see that there's something stopping that sound from going all the way into your inner ear. Faraz suggested I see an ear, nose and throat specialist for further testing, but that wasn't all. So based on my results today and all the findings that we've got, I'm now going to clinically recommend for you to use hearing aids in both of your ears. Both ears? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, that's something that, uh, obviously, I don't think you were probably prepared for because you were expecting a hearing aid in your mm. right ear, is that correct? Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking of my left ear, that's for sure, yeah. The way hearing aids and the way our hearing works, um, if you were to just wear a hearing aid in one of your ears, all it would do would improve your right ear. So, for example, your right mm. ear, it would improve your right ear and it would give you good hearing. It can't give you normal hearing, but it would give you good hearing. But what that would then create is an imbalance with your left ear. We finish with Faraz giving me an experience of wearing hearing aids. So we're now going to turn the hearing aid on in your left ear. How does the sound come across at the moment? Fine. Brilliant. And your own voice? Hello, hello. This is me, talking to me. I'm now going to turn the hearing aid on in your right ear. So I've just turned the right hearing aid on. Ooh. Talk to me. And how does that sound? How's my voice coming across? 
Oh, is but this it, how normal people hear? This is, well, equally out of both ears, but again, if, just reminding you, you know, we've not spent that additional time with you to try and fine tune the hearing aids so that they're a bit more balanced than they currently are. But yes. Wow. God, that's so interesting. You know, I went in there thinking that needing a hearing aid would be some kind of failure. But, you know, talking to Faraz, it completely changed my mind because actually it's not about life closing down. It's about life totally opening up and, you know, being able to hear and be part of a social situation rather than sitting there embarrassed that you might be having a hearing aid. Um, if you're struggling with your hearing, honestly, go get a consultation. There are so many options. Um, I actually am quite excited about it now. Only you could be excited <laughs> I know. about it, getting hearing aids. I know, but it was so interesting. It must have been a bit of brilliant. shock, though, was it? Uh, yeah. You did look shocked. There. I was, because, yeah. well, as Faraz said, I, I had kind of geared myself up for one, because I know that this year is really bad, but there was, I don't know why I found it so shocking to, when he said two, because I was... I really felt for you. Going to a medical appointment and hearing unexpected news is really tough. I really felt for you. Yeah, oh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I don't but want anyone you, to think that. You but... also would never usually get a chance to scientifically look at your hearing on this level, so I feel like they're really yeah. quite... Fu not fun in the, oh, yeah. I really want to have a hearing test, but actually the fact that you've got... A an instant answer as well. You didn't have to wait six weeks to find out. Yeah, but it's we're so weird cool. about hearing, aren't we? In that, you know, so many people experience their sight sort of deteriorating a bit as they get older. Once you get to 40 and you've got specs and, oh, look at my new specs with the great da 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 da. Mm. Um, Whereas with hearing loss, for a lot of people, it's the same thing. I mean, there can be a particular reason, or it can just be as you get older, your ears aren't as effective. Was it a really big difference with both of them? In oh, it was. It was. I mean, when he yeah. switched it on, it was like, oh, there is a real discernible difference. And actually, he was interesting because... But, but in, a, in a good way. Well, in like, a good way, like yeah, absolutely. Clarity rather than... Absolutely. But, like, my mum and dad both needed hearing aids uh, towards the end of their lives, and they would never wear them. A really classic story, mm. isn't it? Oh, that thing, it's whistling. And I asked Faraz about that, and he said, well, it's because people have often left it so long... Mm they can't remember what good hearing actually is. Mm -hmm. And so when it's kind of switched on and you've spent 15 years just slightly removed from the conversation, mm. then it's kind of difficult to deal with. So, <clears throat> you know, take action at an earlier stage yeah, yeah. to maintain a good level. So have you got them on today then? No, no, I, I don't. I mean, I, it's a process you have to get doing and I am going to go and see an ENT yeah. person. But Because, because do, you, do you think they might be able to repair whatever damage has been done in that? Well, yeah. it's, it's, worth, it's worth exploring, but I mean, the thing is, I can't just leave it now because I've come this far. Yeah. Definitely. And why and would you not want to hear exactly. well? Exactly. The, yeah. the clues yeah. in the name, hearing aid. Well, it's solutions, he aid. calls it a hearing solution, that's what well, they call it. it's still a hearing yeah. aid. Well, are you sense. feeling all right it's aiding you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. I mean, I think it is a mindset thing. Um, actually, the young girl Tasha on Love Island, you know, who oh, I, yeah. think, I think had a congenital hearing issue, you know, she mentioned that very early doors, she wears the appropriate aid for her, nobody thinks about it, and, and that's it, it's done, gone. Yeah. And I say big up to her for doing that, because yeah. there is a sort of thing around hearing, and we can feel vulnerable, can't yeah. we? Yeah, I think so. I think wrongly for women, because it, it's such an ageist world we live in, it's, it's sort of attached to, like, well, you're deteriorating, you're ageing, so perhaps women don't want to be seen to wear a hearing aid. Uh, a funny story, I mean, it was probably not funny at the time, but I can laugh now. When I met Richie, I didn't tell him that I'm... Cos I'm complete, completely blind in my left eye. And I just didn't tell him for lots of different reasons. You know, we were only just dating. And he took me to the IMAX cinema in London, which is a big 3D cinema. <laughs> and, you know, 3D only works with two eyes and right. we, it, it was like this wildlife thing with sharks <laughs> and stuff and I just pretended to watch it with the glasses on and Richie's jumping out of his seat so I'm like looking at the corner of a good eye and pretending to jump too and then I had to carry <laughs> the lie on because like, we ended up you know obviously getting married oh, he took me to Euro Disney on the Ratatouille ride that was all like 3D he took me to another 3D <laughs> film that came out in the local cinema and after about two to three years I was like oh yeah you two, know yes, three years, yes, three years. Three years. <laughs> I was like, you know I'm actually completely <laughs> blind and I've never no. been able to see any. And he's like, but what about that date we had at the iMac? I was like, yeah, it was all a lie. He was like, you were jumping out your seat. I was like, I know. It wasn't true. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> for, three, <laughs> for three years. Are you kidding for three years? Yeah. You must have felt so bad.
words. Well, had well been, but I, been I understand since. that. Yeah. I understand yeah, that. Just, no. um, If you need any more information on hearing loss, there is more information on our website.